Hello everyone, just your friendly neighborhood modding guy here and I want to help out with how to fix your mods in Baldur's Gate 3's patch 8 as this has caused a few different issues. Now I'll be going over some deep level how to fix things as well as just going through and showing you how to fix things on console. It's somewhat straightforward for most for the most part. PC will get these updates a little bit quicker than console so I'll give some workarounds for those that are having even more extended issues here. So. I guess the first thing I just want to touch on is there is a new category on mod IO for patch eight tested. And this is going to list all the mods that have been tested and approved to work on patch eight. So things like Mr. Spells, we got ourselves some new updates like to the better UI mod here by Kate's and uh, shout out to Kate's for an amazing job with getting all their mods updated very quickly. Typically in the past mods break and they're broken for a week or two. And this is very fast. I have an update literally as soon as patch eight got released here. So yeah, better inventory UI. They've been going through and updating a lot of their mods here. So you can expect to see some more updates if your current mods aren't installed. UI mods are currently giving the most issues just due to the imp UI being rolled up into the game and causing just some visual issues. Like you may have played and noticed that the hotbar just didn't have any icons on it. Uh, that is due to like the better hotbar too and just the, the UI issues, but you can remove those mods if you're on PlayStation, if you're on cons on PC, but for on console, you do have to do a new playthrough right now without the mods until they do get updated, but there are updates on the way. Uh, so you may not be able to play on your modded playthroughs at the moment, but you still will be able to in the future once these updates do come through. So yeah, we got ourselves a lot of updates for that. It's really nice that they have this separate category here just so you can go through. And uh, if you're on PlayStation, you literally go from your normal modding page here, you press R1, it takes you to all your mods, and then you can go ahead and update them as updates come available. So it's very straightforward and simple for updating mods using the in-game mod manager. It's a lot easier than if you're updating them from like Nexus mods and have to download new files and put them in different places. So I think that that's really nice. But again, if you're having issues with mods, you might have to just go without them or play a new playthrough for the time being until the mods do get updated and then you can add in all your favorite mods once again. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's <laughs> mostly gonna be UI mods and subclass mods that are causing issues. The thing with subclass mods is they're overriding the new the new class mods. So that's obviously causing some issues and it'll hopefully get resolved here soon. So yeah, it's just gonna take a bit of time there for those. Now into th some more complex mods. Um, I'm a huge fan of the native camera tweaks, which is what you're seeing right here with that free movement. Uh, so this mod just got literally updated two days ago. Um, so yeah, native camera tweaks is now currently working. And I am very happy to announce that the WASD movement mod is now updated as of today. So these are two mods I can't go without as someone that played Dragon Age Origins and loves it. The ability to just move around with the WASD keys and then also have this free roaming camera on PC is amazing. Cause it lets you get like really up close. You can see the boogers in shadow hurts nose. If you go close enough, it's amazing. So these two mods are now currently updated. And if you're curious on how to update them, I do have a video, but I'll just briefly walk you through how to access some interesting areas that people may not be aware of. So if you got the Baldur's gate three, um, go to steam, you're going to right click on it here. And then you're going to go to the proper, or you're going to go to manage browse local files this is going to pull up this menu here so what we're going to be going to do is go to the bin file and then you have to have the native mods uh for a, be able to use the native camera tweaks and as well the wasd movement mod so inside that literally all you do is you just drop the files that you download from nexus mods and then you're pretty much good to go it's a very easy download and fix but uh that's for these mods there's a few different areas that uh, mods go to so for those two in particular it's just right there however we do got ourselves another area that mods uh, can show up. So this one's a little bit sneakier. It's a little harder to find this location. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to go into um, your main file here and you're actually going to type uh, the percent sign app data percent sign. Once you type that in, you're going to go to the secret folder you can find without doing that. So you do have to type that in. Um, and then what we're going to do is you're going to back out of the roaming and go to app data. After that, you're going to go to the local. I'll just zoom it in here and make this a little easier to see. So local, and then once you're in here, you're going to scroll down until you find the Larian Studios. So once you find that, double click on it, and then it'll take you to this, which will say Baldur's Gate 3. You'll go into that, and then when you look inside, there's going to be a few different folders here. The mods one is the one that we're looking for. So double click on that, and what you'll see is all the mods that you have installed in the mod manager itself. It's very cool. So whenever you install mods through the in-game mod manager, it actually places them in this file folder here until you uninstall and remove them. So you can manually remove them from here. Or if you're downloading other mods uh, without using the external Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, you can actually just download the pack files and drop them in here. 
So this is for all .pak pack files. Whereas that other area that I was showing you for the native mods, these are for the .dll mods. Unfortunately, these mods cannot make their way to console as they're a different unsupported file type. But uh, these are for mainly PC mods. So like the WSD movement and native camera tweaks as I showed you guys there. But yeah, you can see all your mods will be right in this spot here. So you can manually add them in if you need to. But uh, it is, again, you're going to type in that percent sign, app data percent sign. It's a little bit tricky at first because it won't show up unless you actually type it this way. So I'll do it again. Percent sign, app data percent sign enter this will take you to roaming you back out of that and go to local down to the larian studios you go into that and then into Baldur's gate 3 and mods so this is also where you can find some of your save files and such too so under player profiles this will have your save files i recommend always backing up your save games if you go into these you're going to see all your auto saves so i guess this is another really good point i want to make here is in this section here back up your save files you can put them on a usb drive i have five different usb drives with my Baldur's gate 3 save files after losing a bunch of campaigns i always decided that's not happening anymore i'm getting multiple backups so you can literally go in here download them get them for your own safety i recommend saving the mod mod free save files so if you have any before patch 7 that had um, you know, no mods installed, or if you even have playthroughs that have no mods, just keep them safe because then you can add mods to them later, and it's really nice. So, yeah, that's under the player profiles, but again, the mods is where you're going to see all of your mods there that you can download. You can actually go through and manually download mods from Mod.io. So, if you wanted to, let's say, get the hair collection mod, you can download it here, and uh, there's a manual download right above my noggin there. You just download the file, you unzip it, and then the pack file you would just drag and drop into this file folder that I showed you here. So, it's really easy. And then the in-game mod manager recognizes it as well. Alternatively, there's also the external Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. So I know a lot of people use the external mod manager and same concept applies here. This is going to basically access your file that has all of the mods in it. So you can see there all the mods that I was talking about, like Master Chief, etc. And these are the ones that I currently have active. So I guess I'll just go quickly through my list of active mods that have been working fine for me. So I got like Gustav X, a little fun fact, the name Tav comes from Gustav here, which was the name of Sven Vink's dog. So a little fun fact for you. Cheater's Ring's working fine for me. Carry weight extra, MPY. I just have this installed. It's not really doing anything at the moment. Crazy Colors Pack, Favoring Colors, Hair Unlocked, Move Faster, Normal Half, Elithid, Vampire's Other Heads, Tutorial Chest Summoner, Hertz Hair Pack, Tactical, uh, the Femme Fatale Tactical Dress, which is the dress mod that I'm currently wearing in this video or my character is, Fear Tailors, Camp Clothing, Better Hot Bar 2, Better Targets Info, and Better Map. So those are ones that I know work for a fact right now as of my filming of this, but uh, keeping it pretty bare bones, just this dress mod, hair mods. By this point, if you've used mods, you'll know which ones you want and which ones you can prioritize in keeping in your save files. But yeah, just wanted to cover that just to give you guys some clarity on how to in install mods if, you know, things aren't working out normally as they should. But again, Mod.io's got this patch A tested here, so these are mods that will work. I've noticed from past mods, equipment mods usually are fine. Cosmetics, so face, hair, etc., eye colors. Those mods all seem to work pretty well. And mod authors are working on updating their class mods to make sure that they work out for patch 8 as well. So you can expect more things to be added very quickly, like the Arcane Vanguard mod by Sathoth. They've been working diligently to get this working properly for everybody. So if you're on console, these updates will get pushed out to you. If you're on PC they'll get pushed out to you at a much quicker rate so good things are coming guys i know there's a lot of been a lot of issues that have been popping up but uh that's just the nature of modding most video games are like this Baldur's gate 3 has had an amazing run at modding and things are only getting better from here with the extended use of the toolkit which just a little heads up there's going to be some more mods that add even more functionality and cool things to the game like quests npcs and much more so good things are coming if you got any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'm pretty quick to help out with any technical issues that may arise because i just want to help you guys make sure that you have a good experience with Baldur's gate 3 let me know again any comments hit the subscribe button if you found this video helpful useful or even fun and i'll see you all in the next video